The information, audio, and visuals you are about to see are intended to provide details of an officer-involved shooting which occurred on January 18, 2024 at approximately 2.33 a.m. in the 1300 block of Chester Avenue in Bakersfield, California. An investigation into the use of force is being conducted to determine whether the actions of the officers were in compliance with law and department policy. At the conclusion of the criminal investigation, all of the details will be released to the Kern County District Attorney for independent review. Bakersfield Police Department officers are equipped with body-worn cameras. The cameras do not capture everything the officers saw or experienced and do not encompass the entirety of the investigation, which includes witness interviews, forensic processing, and administrative review. Conclusions about the officers' actions with regard to law and policy will not be made until the investigation is complete and all facts are known. Since the adoption of body-worn cameras, the Bakersfield Police Department has released footage of all officer-involved shooting. This footage is being released to the community to provide transparency. This video may contain strong language and graphic images, which may be disturbing to some people. Viewer discretion is advised. On January 18, 2024, at approximately 2.24 a.m., the Bakersfield Police Department received multiple shot spotter notifications near 1301 Chester Avenue. Officers were dispatched at 2.25 a.m. and the first officer arrived on scene at 2.28 a.m. Once on scene, officers contacted a male subject in the area. The subject told officers he heard two shots and it sounded as if it came from north of their location. Officers began checking the area and located a man in the driver's seat of a white pickup truck parked on the east side of 1301 Chester Avenue. Officers observed the man later identified as Esmeraldo Martinez Vivanco, who was in possession of a scoped rifle. After observing Vivanco was armed, officers moved away from the truck, creating more distance between them and Vivanco. Once officers were in positions of cover, they began communicating about how to safely contact Vivanco. While officers were formulating a plan, Vivanco began firing his weapon at officers and the officers returned fire. Seven officers fired their weapons over the course of the encounter with Vivanco. The following video is synchronized body-worn camera footage from officers who fired from the area south of Vivanco's vehicle. The video begins as one of the officers who fired his duty weapon arrives on scene. Yeah, I just got out of jail yesterday. I'm not going to be no stupid to do something. He said that he heard two shots, possibly, he said by the bridge or under the bridge. Give me a second. Over that way. Yeah, that shit was that was for shit on me. He said possibly that way, under what the bridge. It? Huh? He saw someone? No, he heard it come back from over there. From over here? Yeah, under the bridge. Yeah. Hey! Thank you. Where's it at? Get out of the car. Hey, he's got a rifle. Back up. Hey. Is there someone inside? Alright, go back inside. Temporary plate, yeah? A firm. Right here. Hey, he's right there. He's in that truck. Hey, come, he's got a rifle. He's got long range. Yeah. All right. Hey, 
Hey, the only way we can go is we'll be in, in uh, crossfire. I don't want to get crossfire. It'll be, yeah. One occupant, right? Yeah, one. You seen the rifle? Yeah, he has a rifle with spoke. White male, right? It's gonna be a Hispanic male. Huh? Get the mask, huh? I'll get the mask. We want to wait for him to get him out. What's that? What's Chester and what? Chester. Hey, so stay back on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. I got you, cover him, cover him. I got you on the right side. No, you're good. You're good. You're not in my. Yeah. You seen it? Yeah, I seen the right. He has like a. It has the like glass one broken on the back of the side. Nine nine eight, nine nine eight. It's okay, guys. Everybody good? One more. Hey, everybody, anybody here? Hey, still moving, still moving. Still movement. The following video is synchronized body worn camera footage from officers who fired from the area southeast of Ivanka's vehicle. The video begins after officers 1, 2, and 3 had already confirmed Vivanco was armed and began to take cover. Officers 4 and 5 fired their weapons at approximately the same time as the officers from video number 1, while officer 6 was still responding to the scene. Five Valley 1 shots fired. Valley 1998. Copy 998. Code 4. You guys good? good. All officers, code 4. He's still moving. He's still moving. I got moving in the car. Show your hands. Show me your fucking hands. Show me your fucking hands. Coming south and watch your crossfire. Unit coming south and watch crossfire. 5 Valley 1, subject still moving in the vehicle. Subject moving in vehicle. I can't see, I can't see. At this point, all officers are code 4. Copy, I'm going to go to the Watch yourself, watch yourself. Start killing Mano! Mano, start He's leaving. in the driver's seat, he's in the driver's seat. Fucking see, dude. Watch yourself, he's up. Yelling Spanish. Get command in Spanish. Sweat la pistola! Sweat la pistola! You see it going in his hands? Sweat la pistola! Fuck, man. What the fuck? Sweat la pistola! Power 15. Power 15. Power 15, the suspect vehicle facing southbound on Chester. All units come northbound Chester from California. We need units to block all southbound traffic on Chester at Truxton. Yeah. Units copy. Vehicle facing southbound. All units come on Chester. I can't fucking see him either. He's swinging something around. So I. Fuck, man. <clears throat> he was yelling, all agitated, and fucking swinging something in his hand. Power 15, we're giving verbal commands to the <clears throat> occupants of the vehicle. Getting good. Huh? Barbara 
150, confirm we have a unit to shut down southbound traffic on Chester from Truxton. After the events in video 1 and 2, a witness informed officers he saw Vivanco in possession of an item he believed to be a hand grenade. The following video synchronized body-worn camera footage from Officer 7 who fired from the east of Vivanco's vehicle and his cover officer, a witness officer. Officer 7 was lying in a prone position resulting in the obstruction of his body-worn camera. A witness officer was standing next to Officer 7 relaying information via police radio. Officer 7 fired his weapon approximately 12 minutes after Officer 6. for me. Paul Robert 17 set up to the east of the suspect. He's in possession of a scoped rifle. 5 e 50 myself Paul Robert 17 are set up east of the suspect. Suspect's going to be set up with a scoped rifle. Turn it up so I can hear it bud. Oh, shots away. Stand by. Put out Paul Robert 17. Put out Paul Robert 17. The Bakersfield Police Department Bomb Squad and Unmanned Aircraft Systems Unit and armored vehicles from the Kern County Sheriff's Office were called to the scene to access Vivanco's vehicle safely. No explosive device was found. The rifle and 24 fired shell casings were located inside Vivanco's vehicle. Vivanco sustained fatal injuries and was pronounced deceased at the scene. Vivanco had multiple aliases, including Alejandro Avalos. No officers or other citizens were struck by gunfire. This is an ongoing investigation. The Bakersfield Police Department's use of force policy, including the deadly force policy, is available to the public at www.bakersfieldpd.us. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel, where we have loads of great content for you to choose from. And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.